What's up guys? It's Sydney and this is your 30 minute arms and chest workout. So grab two sets of dumbbells and let's get to it. What's up guys? So excited that you're here for our 30 minute arms and chest workout muscles we're gonna be working today. Biceps, triceps, and your chest muscles. Okay, pectoralis muscles. I have two sets of dumbbells. I have a 10 pound set and a 20 pound set. We're gonna use a lighter set and a heavier set, so make sure you have some options. Our heavier set is gonna be for movements like the bicep curls, the chest press, movements where your arms are gonna stay a little bit closer to your body. You can go a little heavier in that way. And then the lighter set is gonna be for things like tricep kickbacks, um, isometric squeezes, so movements where your arms move out away from your body, those are the ones that you're gonna go a little bit lighter on, okay? So make sure you have some room, have your water, have your sweat towel, and your two sets of dumbbells, and we're gonna get started with a quick warm up, upper body workout only, so we're gonna work from the torso up, and here we go, we're gonna start with backwards arm circles. In three, two, one, let's go. Good, reach way up and way back. There you go. Make sure you start your breathing now. It's a good habit to get into. As we get into the workout, try to release all the other thoughts that are going on in your head, right? It's just time for you. Three, two, one, and switch directions with your arms. Have a habit of just kind of sidestepping. Not required, but I always find myself doing it. Good job. So it's working on a little bit of um, isolation today. I don't know, I don't do a ton of workouts with uh, muscle isolation. All right, let's cross your body, arms over your chest. Um, but it's always good to switch it up. So this week we're definitely gonna have some isolation workouts, biceps, triceps, and chest today. Okay, and then we'll hit some legs, hamstrings, and glutes specifically in a couple days. And then a couple days after that, we're gonna go for shoulders and back, okay? so. Be ready for some muscle isolation mixed in with that athletic cardio that we always do together. Three, two, and rest. Bring your fingertips out together. I'm gonna open backwards. Open, open. There you go. Slight bend in the knee so that you don't arch your back. Okay, so if I have a, a slightly bend knee, it's easier for me to keep my core straight versus if I'm upright. We tend to do this a lot, right? I'm gonna keep that back safe, core tight, so a little bend in the knee. Opening up the chest here. That's it. Three, two, one. Let's release your left hand over and right hand over. Good job, over. Getting a little shoulder mobility here. Great job, reach. So the way we're gonna work today is 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds rest, okay? We've got two exercises at a time that we're gonna superset. All right, let's roll your wrist out, flick the water off your fingers to get those forearms warmed up. Okay, our first two moves are gonna be bicep curls and chest fly standing, okay? So let me show you those. For me, I'm gonna do the heavier dumbbells for the bicep curls. Okay, so just standing bicep curls, open palm, you're gonna go straight up, straight down. 20 seconds there. And then, grabbing your lighter set, you've got a 10 second rest in between. We're gonna go standing, chest fly. So I want your palms facing forward, bringing your arm right out front and back down. Squeezing that chest to lift your arm. Okay, seven seconds and we're gonna start our bicep curls. So grab those heavy dumbbells and let's get ready. 20 seconds of work. Ready, let's go. Bicep curls. Coming right up front and keep your dumbbells in front of your legs. There you go. Don't let your elbows shoot back behind your hips. You've got five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Okay, 10 seconds to grab your other set. Palms are still facing forward. Okay, you're gonna lift left arm first. Two, one, let's go. Right in front of your face and switch. Good, and keep your palm facing the ceiling, okay? Don't let your torso rotate, just keep it nice and straight as well. Good. Three, two, one, 
rest. All right, so back to the bicep curls. That was the end of round one. We've got four rounds through the circuit, okay? Three, two, let's start on round two. And here we go. Curl, and I hope you're pushing some heavy weight on these curls. If you don't have that heavier weight option, number one, definitely invest in a heavier set of dumbbells. But number two, go a little bit quicker than I'm going right now. Three, two, one, and rest. Woo! All right, so I'm really pushing my max weight there for the bicep curl, so it's a little slower. If you have a lighter set of dumbbells, you'll go a little bit quicker than me, okay? Ready, let's go. Chest, standing, fly. Think pinky to the sky, right? When you lift, palm is still facing up. Here we go. This Tabata style really keeps your heart rate up, huh? Three, two, one, rest. Okay, round number two is down. Flick the hands out if your forearms are tired. We're going round three in two, one, bicep curls. Let's do it, guys. There you go, push that heavy weight, come on. 10 seconds, it's okay if it slows down. Okay, just keep squeezing. Four, three, two, one, rest. Great job. Give yourself patience when you go a little heavier, okay? It doesn't have to be fast. You've got time. Three, two, one, chest flies. Let's lift and lift. Now I want you to pull your tummy in. Slight bend in the knees, again, so my back doesn't arch. Core is tight the whole time. And my chest isn't rotating around, okay? It's straight, abs are tight. Squeeze that chest muscle, two, one, and rest. Guys, we've got one more round. Shake your hands out. Bump that weight up if you can on the bicep curls. Here we go, two, one. Last set of curls. Let's get it, big pull. Up and down, pull. Up and down, pull. Up, down, 10 seconds. That's it, pull high. Up, 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 up. There you go, four, three, two, one, and rest. Woo! Great job. All right, last set of chest fly. Turn your palms out, open them up. Tight abs, bend in the knee. Ready, let's lift. Left arm comes right to eye level. Good, squeeze across. Squeeze across, that's it. You'll feel it in your arms a little bit too, but the motion from bringing the dumbbell to the outside to the inside is where your chest activates. Two, one, and rest. Okay, keep those light dumbbells, guys. Five seconds, we're gonna go right into tricep kickbacks. Okay, come with me. Two, one, here we go. Push and push. You're alternating here, so you can really focus on one arm at a time, squeezing to full extension. Okay, in eight seconds, you're gonna lose the dumbbells. We're going down for push-ups. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, you've got 10 seconds. Okay, move your dumbbells out of the way. And let's go for push-ups. Three, two, one, here we go. Modify here, drop to your knees, or head up onto a table or a couch. Now I want your hands wide. Good job. Eight, seven, three, two, last one. Great job, grab your dumbbells. Coming back up for tricep kickbacks. I've only got 30 minutes with you today, so we're gonna work without a lot of rest. Ready? Let's go. Round two, kick it back. So I want your weight shifted back into your heels. Okay, engage your glutes a little bit so that you can assure your lower back isn't taking a ton of weight, okay? There you go, push it back and rest. All right. Whew. Move these back here. Down for push-ups. Nice and wide hands. Two, one, let's go. Down and up. Down and up. That's it. Are you pulling your belly button in? Squeeze it tight. Only 20 seconds and you only got six seconds to go. Four, three, two, one, 
and rest. Okay, round two is done. Let's move on to round three. You're doing great, big deep breath. Good, two, one, let's kick it back. Work the back of those arms. So much of your arm definition, those nice, long, lean muscles are gonna come from your triceps. So really extend out back, squeeze before you let that dumbbell fall back down. Three, two, one, and rest. Woo! All right, round three, finishing out the pull up, or the push-ups. All right, two, one, let's go. If you're on your knees, do not let your butt stay up in the air, okay? Common mistake is this, right? Pull your hips in, pull your belly button in. Take everything down together, okay? Seven seconds. Good, rest. It's just like a plank. When your body's in a plank, everything is tight. Okay, keep that same mentality for your push-ups. Two, one, round four. Let's get it, last round through. And then we're switching up those exercises. Squeeze all the way out, and give me a squeeze before you let that dumbbell fall back down. Also notice I'm stopping at 90 degrees with my elbow. So the difference in this and this, right? Rest, okay, so in the future, make sure you're not going through this entire swing motion. It's 90, back, 90, back. Okay, come on down for your last set of push-ups. Let's go. Chest down, hips down as well. Abs are tight. Good, five, four, three, two, one, and stay right here on your mat. We're gonna flip over for chest press. Grab those heavier dumbbells and come with me. Two, one, let's go. Lay it down, bend your elbows to the floor and press overhead. Twenty seconds here. Six, five, three, two, one, and rest. Okay. Now I want you to come on up to your knees here. Lighter set of dumbbells, and we're gonna go hammer curls. So palms are facing your body. Curl, relax. Let's go. Now if this is uncomfortable for your knees, you can obviously go ahead and stand up. But just for transitions, timing. I'm gonna stay down here. Seven seconds and you're coming back to the chest press. Three, two, one, great job. Heavy dumbbells again, let's go right into it. Four, three, hands up, two, one, let's go. Down, touch your elbows and squeeze that chest together. Squeeze it together. Good, good. 10 seconds, come on. We're rolling right back up into your hammer bicep curls. In three, two, one, great job. Dumbbells down, lighter dumbbells picked up. Unless you wanna stick with your heavy ones. Three, two, one, let's curl. And notice my elbows are not sinking back. They're staying right beside my hip bones, okay? Do not let your elbows shoot back. If anything, think about pushing them forward. Four, three, two, one, rest. Good job. Back to the chest press. Round number three, right? You guys still with me? Three, two, one, let's go. And squeeze, squeeze. That's it, come on. Push it, push it. I know your arms are getting tired. But we're almost there. Seven, six, five, whoo, three, two, one, rest. Okay, heavy dumbbells down, roll right up into your bicep curls in three, two, one, let's go. Last part of round three. Elbows stay right beside your belly or your uh, hips. Shoulders are back. Good job. Four, three, two, one. 
rest. We've got our last set of chest press. Roll it on back. Grab those heavy dumbbells. Kick them up. Here we go. Two, one, and go for it. Last set of chest press. Come on. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up. 10 seconds. Let's go. Up, down, up, down. Keep it up. Up, down, up, down. You got three, two, one. Drop those heavy dumbbells. Come up to your bicep curls for your last one. Whew. Two, one, let's rock. Your next set, you're gonna stay down here on the mat. You're gonna go tricep overhead extensions, okay? 10 seconds, I'll show you what to do, but you're gonna stay right here in this position. Four, three, two, one. Okay, 10 second rest. You're gonna grab one or two dumbbells. In five seconds, you're going overhead extension, okay? The two dumbbells, click them together. Two, one, let's go. If you've got one heavy dumbbell, that's okay. If you don't have a heavier dumbbell, you can grab two lighter dumbbells and just make sure they stay together so your elbows stay nice and in line. There you go, three, two, one. Lay back down on your back and we're gonna go chest fly. Okay, so arms start together over top. Rounded elbows are coming out to the side. Squeeze up together. Let's go. Open and close. There you go. Open, close, open, close. Four, three, two, one. Amazing. You have the option to stay here on your butt if you need to. Okay, we're going back to those overhead extensions. One dumbbell, two, one, let's go. One or two dumbbells, I should say. So you're gonna be engaging your core a lot in this seated position. Okay, so make sure your belly button is tucked in. Spine is nice and tall. Your gaze is straight ahead. Okay, not down at your chest. Three, two, one, great job. Come on back for your chest fly. Round number two here, or the last part of round two. You guys still good? Ready? Let's fly. Open, close. Here we go. Yes, open, close. Come on. Whoo! Open, squeeze that pencil right in the middle of your chest. Close, open, squeeze tight. Four, three, two, one. Sit up, right into your tricep overhead extension. We're going on to round three. You're doing great. Here we go, three, two, one. Engage your belly button, squeeze tight, bend and push. That's it. You obviously also have the option to stand up if this is uncomfortable for you, but just a way to get your abs engaged. Rest, Woo, okay. Round three of your chest flies. Four, three, dumbbells up. Two, one, let's fly. Open, squeeze tight. Now you want your arms to be rounded still, all the way out until your elbows touch the ground, and then squeeze them back together. Eight, seven, six, five, two, one, rest. Whew. Okay, round three is done. Let's move on to round four, last two here. Three, two, one. Engage your belly button and bend those elbows to 90 degrees, so right behind your ponytail if you have one. Right behind your noggin. If you don't have a ponytail, just right behind your head. <laughs> Eight, seven, six. Good, that's it. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, last round of chest fly. Come on up. Three, two, one. Let's open it up. Fly. Good. Squeeze tight on the way back up from all the way extended out here. Two together. You're squeezing that chest like you're trying to crush a pencil between your pecs. Three, two, 
one rest. I want you to stay right here. Your next exercise is gonna be an isometric squeeze. Linking those dumbbells together right over your chest. You're gonna drive them in towards each other hard as you can. Two, one, let's squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze. Like you're trying to touch your knuckles together, but you just can't. Hold those dumbbells together. Squeeze, squeeze. Elbows are bent. Chest is shaking a little bit. That's okay. Three, two, one, rest. Come on up to your knees. You've got alternating cross body curls. Looks like this. Across your chest, across your chest. Ready? Come with me, let's go. Good, keep your elbows back. Make sure you're not coming here, right? Elbows are down. Squeeze, drive like a windshield wiper right across your chest. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, we're back to those isometric squeezes. Pin your dumbbells together. Okay, we're squeezing as hard as you can together. Two, one, let's go, squeeze. Good, drive your knuckles in towards each other. Hold those dumbbells together nice and tight. Good, 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 press, press, press. Five, four, three, squeeze, two, one, rest. Woo, those are tough, huh? It'll get your chest, not only your chest, your biceps and your triceps as well. Okay, cross body curls, round two, let's go. Just think about anytime you're doing a bicep curl, the objective is to get your bicep to shorten, okay? So technically speaking, this muscle, when it contracts, is shortening up, okay? So you wanna make sure you're thinking about that every time. Shorten it, lengthen it. And rest, good. I'm trying to throw little technique tips in as much as I can. I know we're moving quick, but those mental cues can help a lot. Two, one, drive those dumbbells together. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Woo! Arms are shaking, embrace it. Squeeze tighter. 10 seconds, let's go. Squeeze, squeeze. Think of like a resistance band hold, right? Woo! Three, two, one, and rest. Woo! Okay, last part of round three. Remember, bicep, you're thinking shorten. Okay, shorten it. Two, one, let's go. It's long, shorten it up. These mental cues can make such a huge difference in the way that you move your body. Kind of like the belly button to your spine cue for the abs, okay? You're not literally getting your belly button to touch your spine, but that cue helps prevent the anterior pelvic tilt. Okay, rest. Let's go one more round. The isometric squeeze in three, two, one. Let's go. Squeeze. I want you to keep them away from your body on this one, as far away as you can. Push them together. Push, push, push. Everything is shaking, yes. Come on, push harder. Seven, six, five. Get those dumbbells through each other. Three, two, one. Rest. Okay, last round of your cross body curls. You're doing great, guys. Woo! Okay, two, one. Let's shorten those biceps. And make sure also you're not coming across like you're doing a disco dance, okay? Keep it tight, like a windshield wiper. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. I want you to have a seat. Dumbbells directly behind you, and we're gonna go for dumbbell dips, okay? Pop your hips up off the ground. You're gonna go down, up, let's go. Down, up, down, up. Now if you have a table or a couch, something that you can prop yourself up on, you can do that as well. Good, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. All right, this next move, Take your dumbbells down to your hips. You're gonna lay it back. Okay, and one arm at a time, you're gonna raise up overhead like this. Okay? Touch your elbow down and come right back up with the other arm. Keep lifting, let's go. Good. You're gonna feel this in your biceps and your chest. Okay? Three, 
two, one, good, set up. Dumbbells go right behind you. And if this is uncomfortable for you, just go down onto your hands, okay? Two, one, let's go. Bend, push. Now it's not a huge range of motion, so you don't have to take a ton of time in between reps. You can keep rocking it out. Good. Keep pressing, don't worry about your hips, they're just hanging there. It's all about the elbows, going straight back, straight back. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, three, two, one. Good, lay down, your palms are facing up. Whew, we're almost there, guys. Five, four, lift one arm at a time, and three, two, one, let's go. Bend the elbow, lift, and lower. Good, keep your elbows bent here. Coming right over to your chest. So there's an outside pull to the inside. There you go. Outside, right over your chest, rest. Good job. Right back into your dips. Big deep breath. We're going in two, one, let's go. Bend, bend. You're doing great, great job. You got 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, rest. Woo, okay, coming back. Round number three here. Last part of round three, I should say. Two, one, let's go. Center to outside, keep the elbow bent so your palm, the top of your hand doesn't touch the floor. It just comes down to the elbow and you've got that isometric bicep hold. Isometric just means in one position. Okay, so you're not bending, straightening, you're just holding. Two, one, rest. <sighs> Guys, we've got one more round of each. Swing those dumbbells back, or head up to your couch, your coffee table, your bed, whatever it is that you have. Lift those hips, bend the elbows, and go. Go, come on, push, push. Think about getting to this full extension as many times as you can. Go for it, eight seconds, come on. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Woo, come on down. Last round. Okay, bend the elbows just a little, get your hands off the floor. Two, one, let's go. Good, switch, come to the middle. Back out to the side with control. This is not a quick movement. Lift, down, eight seconds. Up, down, up, down. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Woo! Amazing job. I want you to come on up, lace your fingertips together, and first of all, just open up your hands and push outward. Okay, you're gonna open up the fingers. Get some space in between the metatarsals. Your hands have been in this position for so long, I wanna open them up and get that extension. Good work, guys. Take your hands and reach overhead. Push your chest forward. Great job, great job. All right, let's drop your hands down to the side. Come on up to a standing position where we can get a little bit Bigger range of motion for this arm cool down. Great job, you guys did awesome. I know that was not an easy workout. Fingertips together, let's open back and forth. I know this wasn't an easy workout. Tons of isolation movements in a row, so I tried not to work you for too long at a time. Short work periods, with short rest periods of course, but 20 seconds is a manageable time to get a really great squeeze in and to really keep your form as you go heavier, okay? My goal for you is to consistently be reaching for that progress, that progressive overload where you're going either quicker in your reps with good form, you're getting more weight on your dumbbells or in your hands with a tighter resistance band, whatever that may be, reach over top, or you're getting more reps in during the time that I give you, okay? So progressive overload, I talk about that a lot, but that is a really consistent, reliable source of progress in the fitness world. Okay, 
okay? You're constantly challenging yourself more, which I think is the basis of my objective for you on most of these workouts. Some workouts are just sustainability, right? The, like the cardio workouts. Some workouts are just go as hard as you can, like those. Let's go backwards arm circles. But workouts like this, and the next couple workouts in this week will be mixed in cardio and then an isolation workout again. And then cardio and another muscle isolation workout. In those muscle isolation workouts, I really want you to focus on challenging yourself with a heavier weight, going for longer in that time period without stopping or with keeping that same pace, forward arm circles. Okay, that's where you're gonna see the progress. And it's all mental, you know? At the end of the day, it's not about, you know, getting more reps in or just convincing yourself that you can and you will with that strategy, okay? Bend your arm behind your head and let's pull that elbow up over. Okay, this whole fitness game is so mental, right? And I know you know that by now, but just a really good reminder to not ever set a barrier for yourself and bend, pull the other arm overhead. Okay, don't set a limitation on the weight that you think you can use. I got my 20s out today and I could only use them for a couple moves, but I pushed myself and I challenged myself to do that weight for those couple moves. And I anticipated doing the 20s on more exercises, but you know, I'm working up to it. I'm working up to getting more heavy movements in each workout, but I couldn't do it for all of them. That doesn't mean I shouldn't challenge myself on the ones that I could do, okay? Work as hard as you can, and if you have to slow it down, that's fine. You are still working as hard as you can, right? All right, great job today, guys. I know I get really preachy at the end, but I'm very passionate about getting results for you. That's really, really what I want for you. I don't want you to come here and waste your time. I don't want you to come here and just check a box off. I got my workout in, it was like, eh. You know, I want you to come here, work hard, and see results because you are working hard. Okay, and if you need help with the biggest barrier to most people, that nutrition, I've got some links below in the description. My 30-day transformation program is gonna teach you how to eat. It's gonna give you recipes, it's gonna give you a meal guide, recipes for every meal of the day and snacks, and it's gonna teach you how to eat for your body. So it's not a cookie cutter program, it's gonna teach you finally how to eat for the rest of your life. Okay, not just a quick fix, but a sustainable method of eating. I've also got breakfast recipes ebook below, some really great options to switch up your breakfast and get some protein in before you start the day to increase that satiety throughout the day so you're not reaching for snacks all day, right? Always be hydrating, always be working hard, and I can't wait to see you guys tomorrow. If you're looking for a little bit more arm work, I'm gonna put some arm workouts right here. If you're looking for some ab work, I'm gonna put some ab workouts right here. Of course, before you leave, click subscribe right here. Can't wait to see you guys tomorrow. Let me see those flex sweaty selfies on Instagram. Tag me below. See you guys.